jumped out of a window. Don't kill herself. But this is the building that she jumped out of. And she ended up falling on top of a roof of a building that used to be here. Which is not here anymore. But we're gonna go check it out. See if we can find it. hallway window she ran and jumped out of the third floor so I'm not sure which window it was but I'm gonna walk around this building there's nothing online I, I looked and looked I can't find anything that points me to the right window but I think there was a building that used to sit here because she had landed on the roof of a, a single story building like one of these windows right here maybe that one right there and then I'm gonna take you guys to where she's buried at. Her roommate tried to save her, but she couldn't stop her. It might even been one of those windows like right there. It's hard to say. And I've tried and I've tried to talk to people to try to find out more about it, but uh, Parkview Apartments. I can't seem to find anybody that knows anything about it. I've been looking for police reports, all kinds of stuff. There's a picture of the uh, firemen and the police officers bringing her off the roof. So now, we're gonna go ahead and head out to the cemetery down the road where she's buried. We'll pay our respects and get that on film. Check it out. So here we are, we're off the cemetery, look at Faith Bacon's grave. As you can see, she's in a flat, she has a flat stone. And there's a lot of snow still today. I was hoping when we came out here, most of the snow was gone. But man, we've been looking everywhere for her. I have to come back some other time and find her. See what we can find. But yeah, it says she's over here somewhere. And her mom had her dancing, you know, from a young age and she was a teenager. I know it's been a while since I put out a video. Uh, this one here is a story, a video I've been working on for a couple months now. He started the whole feather dance stuff back in the burlesque days, like in the 20s and 30s. Uh, her and Sally Rand kind of went back and forth about who started it. Uh, here I am, I'm out at Wonder Cemetery in Chicago. She was sought after as a performer, big time in Chicago in the 30s. Uh, she used to perform at all the gangsters like clubs and stuff and uh she was dancing at the state street theater in chicago and fell through a fell through a glass case and cut her legs up real bad she was in the hospital for a couple that's a old one 
She was in the hospital for a couple of weeks. And then she ended up coming back to Chicago. And she was staying with a friend out there at a place. It was a residential like hotel called the Allen Hotel. And that's in Lincoln Park. And uh, but here's a picture. That was in the paper of them bringing her down off the roof. She landed, she jumped out of a third story window, hallway window, I'll show you it. And uh, she landed on a one story roof. And, uh, she died from her injuries that night. It's a sad story, you know. She's at one time on top of the world. And when she died, she was, she was pretty much broke. She was staying with a friend. A friend tried to save her from jumping out the window, but she couldn't catch her. But here's a grave right here. It's Faith Bacon. Here she is. So, yeah, this one's been a long time in the works. I'm really gonna put this video together and it's gonna be really cool. I'm gonna put everything I can find on her. This is a story, you know, it's a sad story and it's a story that hasn't really been told. So I found her. Here she is. It's Faith Bacon. Rest in peace.